Hello and welcome to the 45th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at removing the console window. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. Uh, if you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. But for something like this tutorial, it doesn't really matter as long as you have a project set up. And this is going to be another really quick part in this series to show you how you can remove the console window from your game. Because frankly, pretty much every game doesn't have a console window. The console window is great for development and debugging purposes, but you will definitely want it removed for a proper game, especially if you are planning on releasing it or giving it to somebody, because it just doesn't look very professional. There isn't actually any code required, you just need to open up your project. Uh, this folder here, I'm opening up the wrong folder, yeah, this one here. What are we doing? You need to open up the Visual Studio project. And once this open, you want to go to your project pro properties. So right click on your project, click properties. And then what you want to do is go to linker. Click on system. And then this one here, subsystem, you want to change that. If you click the drop down to windows, subsystem, windows. If it's not there, you can type it, but it should be all there. So if I just click this, actually, you know what? I'm going to cancel this, run it so you can see the console. This is exactly what we are going to be getting rid of. So if we just run our, I mean, open up properties again. So you want to go to linker system, and then in the subsystem, you want to change it to Windows. Click A, OK. Now run our application. We have no console window whatsoever. It is, it's just not here anymore, which is great. That's how you remove a console window. In the next part of this series, we'll be looking at frame rate. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.